How's it going everybody? Uh, this one's a long time overdue. I promised whenever I posted the video of the big ass boombox behind me uh, that I would post a video on what it looks like when it's performing, you know, how the VU meter works, and most importantly how this thing sounds. Uh, tested it out a little bit here and there and found out that box this size you kind of got to port it otherwise the speakers are working against each other and it's just not doing what it's supposed to. So if you have, say for instance, in the music it, a sound that you normally hear at the forefront of your speakers and then it travels backwards or vice versa back to forward you know your front speakers aren't going to be pushing as much sound out so your back ones are but what I've noticed is it's kind of still pushing those cones and they're not performing at their peak rate so I kind of have to port it try and make sure there's a little bit more airflow within the container itself once that's done it's going to sound amazing hopefully um, and main reason why I found this out is because I turned off, you know, different speakers to show people, hey, look, this is what you can do with it. Um, another thing is I uh, probably, I don't remember why I said in the video about the grills, but I had a little issue with them where they just were not, they just didn't work. So I ordered on eBay a, couple, a new set of grills. They came in pairs, so I'm only going to show you the one. But I have these to cover up the speakers. So I'm going to put those on there. Uh, don't really see a point in doing a video on, hey look, I just updated the pictures, they look pretty sweet. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to work on this this weekend. also have another build that I'm doing. Not a new build, it's an old box. I've finally got some people that are highly interested in them and they would not take, no, I do not build these for anyone for an answer. So I kind of got kind of shoved into that. So, well, not really. I was more than happy to build it for them. I love doing these things. But... You know, if you guys want to see the how this works video, not how this works, but you want to see the how it sounds, hear it more than see. So, I'm going to get up, I'm going to get out of the way, I'm going to zoom in on the box, that way you guys can see what's happening. And I hope you really enjoy this. Um, the song I'm going to be playing is Self vs. Self by Pendulum featuring In Flames. So, kind of a, I don't know what Pendulum music I don't know really what they do. I just like a couple of their songs. In Flames is a metal band that I really am fond of, so I figured, you know, if In Flames is going to do something with these guys, they must be worth listening to. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite songs that these that Pendulum does, so I'll get out of the way and we will start this. And for copyright information, I don't own this music, or nor do I claim to own it. This is just me playing a song on my box. I am no way doing this for money. Okay, now that that is out of the way, uh, please pardon the sounds of my camera focusing. It's aggravating. As you can see, I've already got it ready to go. Don't worry, I will zoom in on the view meter once it gets playing. Alright, so without further ado... Shaking.
zoom out a little bit more. There we go. Alright, so as you can see, the box does work. I wasn't just blowing smoke out of my hind end whenever I showed you the uh, how I built it. It's a... Uh, I'm loving this box. It's by far my favorite build. Um, I did notice, I haven't checked my YouTube channel in quite a few days, and, you know, on my other videos, you know, I had them up for, you know, a month, month and a half, and I've only got up to, you know, like 30, 40, I think one of them's up to 50 views, so I was like, eh, you know what, no one's really paying attention to it, and then I saw that this big-ass box behind me, I've got over 145 views as of right now, so, you know, I'm seeing that people are taking more notice in it um you know i showed you the video on going through the schematics on or not really the schematics but giving you a little video tour of a box that was completed um as i said earlier i've got a couple of projects that people are wanting me to do for them and which i'm more than happy to do so i'm building another one like my very first box that i built and showed on youtube somebody's texting me oh but um Anyways, wink, you know who you are. Anyways, uh, so I learned from that first build, and I'm going to do some more. I know this is entitled Big Ass Boombox Test Video, but you know what? I'm announcing my other projects I'm doing and what's going to happen on this channel. So uh, I've made some tweaks, some little modifications up here that I'm going to do with the next box that I build, and then all the other guy that has me building his... He wants me to do it out of a toolbox. The toolbox is made out of metal. This should be entertaining because anybody who saw my medium-sized boombox saw that the metal ones aren't exactly my at-all favorite or even close to being agreeable build just because of grounding issues and it being a humongous pain to do it. But. You know, I told him I built him one, he picked up the box, and I can't say no because he already went and paid for it, that, and so, you know, it's whatever. I'm going to build it for him, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully I don't run into any issues and it goes as smoothly as this big thing, Monstrosity, my, my lovely box back here. Hopefully it goes as smoothly as that one did. Granted, it took me two days to build it, but, you know, everything went without a hitch. It was amazing. I'm learning, and learning is fun. So, you know, in the future, you can look forward to seeing the 1200 build, the modified version uh, from me trying to build it and then making mistakes, learning from those mistakes. So, I'm going to do that. I will post the video on how to build it. Uh, the medium-sized box, the one that I had such a lovely time with that I'm still just not at all happy with. I did order a new Pelican case for it. I don't remember the exact size. I want to say a 1450 Pelican case. Um, still waiting on that to come in. I ordered it over a month ago, but as my location is not ideal for shipping, I kind of have to wait a little bit longer for everything. So as soon as that gets in, I'll spend probably an entire afternoon or day, maybe not an entire day, maybe just an afternoon because I'm getting quite proficient at building these now. And I will post that video whenever it's done. I will, uh, if you ever saw that video, I would suggest you go back to look at it. I will try and link it below if I remember. And, uh, you know, I hope you watch that video and you can see kind of what I went with it. Uh, again, I'm going to put everything in a new box and I'm just going to throw that box away. Granted, it looks cool, but whenever I built it and tested it at my shop, we used it at a barbecue, and everything decided, oh, you know, this music's nice, it's loud, you know, the speakers sound very crisp and clear, you know, the VU meters, they're bouncing, they're doing the little thing, oh, wait, no, we're going to stop because the wires are going to just fall out of place, and, oh, hey, guess what, speakers, you're going to dump inside the box because the screws came loose, bunk. Yeah, the whole thing shook itself apart. So, note to self, and to you guys, when you do a build, please, do not use anything with styrofoam in it with a flexible container because when you do it's going to bend you're not going to get a tight you know it's not going to tighten down exactly the way it should and your locking screws nuts washers there we go locking washers they're not going to do their jobs they're going to kind of allow your screws and well they're going to allow your nuts to fall off your screws it's a bad day for everybody when your nuts fall off 
So learn from my experience, people. Don't let your nuts fall off your screws, because then you lose them, and no one wants a lost nut. Alright, well, now that I've made it a little awkward for y'all, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my testing of the box. Well, the testing that you guys got to see, I used it for an entire day. I get a lot of play time out of this, so for the build, I thought I wasn't going to get very much hours out of it. I thought it was just going to be more of a, hey, look at what I got. Yeah, it's not very practical, but I got it. But no, it's actually practical. The batteries last a good amount of time, and it's loud. It booms, you can't set anything on it because you'll lose it because it will just fly right off of it. It just vibrates right off and just leave me out. No, I can't find my phone. But if anybody is interested in doing a project like this or has an idea for, you know, a different kind of build or maybe not necessarily a different kind of build but a different project, please comment below. Uh, I'll link a couple of my other videos and for anybody that's just catching up on this. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys check it out. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share it on the Facebook and the Twitter. I'm not a fan of Twitter. I can't figure it out. But, you know, share, like, subscribe, and have a good one. Bye. I have to do that every time now. Mm.